वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड सो फ्रॉम दिस एपिसोड आई एम स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू सीरीज कॉल्ड सॉलिडिटी फॉर बिगनर्स बिकॉज इन प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई हैव सीन मैनी पीपल आर नॉट फेमिलियर विद सॉलिडिटी एंड हाउ टू कोड इन सॉलिडिटी सो आई थाट ऑफ क्रिएटिंग अ सीरीज दैट विल गिव मोर इन साइट इन टू हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स एंड देन मेथड्स एंड द वेरिएबल्स एक्सेट्रा सो इट माइट बी लाइक नाइन और टेन पार्ट सीरीज but it will give you a nice overview of what solidity is and then from there onwards um i can start you know building decentralized applications and um show how we can use uh, solidity to write a smart contracts right so let's get started um in this video i'll go over the introduction um what solidity is basically it's an object oriented high level programming language um it was created and especially targeted for ethereum a uh, virtual machine so think of it like ethereum blockchain provides us with a functionality that okay you can send some code right like you can add some rules some logic smart logic to your to the blockchain and the way they provide that functionality is through smart contracts now in order to write smart contracts um, you need solidity so think of smart contract as just piece of some code some logic it might be like sum of two numbers um or division of two numbers anything any small thing any logic small logic that you want um that should reside on the blockchain and then outer world can call it you know and use it so basically it's it's a way of writing code or pushing code um in terms of smart contracts and that's why so we use solidity right um the way this process works is um let me go over it so yeah i have the screen here so basically what happens we have our code that we write in solidity right once the code is written um basically we would have a compiler a solidity compiler so that compiler would basically then turn the code into byte code because um byte code is the lowest form of instructions low level instructions that um computer can understand right so we would convert it into byte code and once the byte code is done um basically it gets deployed to our um, ethereum blockchain right so it gets deployed and executed to ethereum blockchain so in short that's um what solidity is and how the conversion and how ethereum blockchain understands what to execute um that's the flow um there is a official doc website on everything uh, it covers everything from start till the end for solidity but i usually you know believe in doing rather than just reading so what we are going to do here is um for this first video i am just going to create a contract you know so i am using this id it's a online id um you don't need to install anything that's the speciality of this id so for this series i am going to use this id and we will create a new file um uh, we can call it dummy solidity so the extension it takes is um sol right um yeah now the first part of our contract is given by something called pragma it's a you can think of it like a keyword um fixed keyword so it's pragma solidity and we give a version 0.4 right so the reason we give a version is um because solidity is a new language there are frequent updates being pushed to it so if you want to use new features let's say if i'm using 0.5 um i had maybe i can use list or you know uh, dictionaries uh, in my solidity but let's say for the next version i start getting uh, more complex data structures also that i can use so then i would need to give the version because um the compiler takes the version in and based on that it basically uh converts the code and understands whether this uh, fe feature which we are using in our contract is available for that version or not right so this is the first line 
um, then we can look at the comments so comments is something uh, we actually should follow um, let's say in future someone else tries to read your code so the comments is the only way the person will understand so there are two types of comments um, as other languages so there is one single line comment which is we just give this uh, double slash and then this is a single line comment and the next one is multi line comment so multi line comment same as you know c plus plus java um, this is a multi line comment cool um, after this comes our contract keyword so we can say it as contract dummy um, so think of contract keyword as a class keyword in java or in python or in c plus plus so here we use contract so everything starts from contract and then you write any logic um, logic goes here right uh, so everything goes under contract now obviously you will ask that um, it's a you know solidity is an object oriented language so you need to have maybe inheritance or maybe how i can do other object oriented um, you know functionalities like abstraction encapsulation etc so the way you can do is um, there is there is interface which we can use so we can use interface as a dummy interface so we can add functionalities to our interface and then we can extend our interface um, and then use them and then there is one more thing called library now i don't use library that much um, i will go over it in detail in later videos what library is and how we can use it but uh, majority of the time when i was developing my decentralized applications i never used um, library but yeah that's all for the part one um stay tuned for the part two and follow me on instagram subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up thanks for the support